What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel covering all things cocktails and spirits related. My name is Tommy Paul. I'm a bartender right here in Manhattan and today I'm in Harlem at 67 Orange Street. It's an award-winning cocktail bar right off of 113th and Frederick Douglass Boulevard. You've seen them on the New York Times and Time Out Magazine and today I'm going to be making five of their signature cocktails for you. Alright, so first up is uh, the Purple Negroni. For this we're going to use Empress Gin yellow chartreuse, and Sue's. So I'm just gonna first go ahead and start out with an ounce and a half of Empress Gin, which is an herbal gin colored and flavored with butterfly pea blossoms. Let's give it sort of a unique color profile and flavor as well. And three quarters of an ounce of yellow chartreuse, which is a French herbal liqueur. And then three quarters of an ounce of Sue's, which is a French herbal liqueur, which is a little sweet. So I'm just gonna add some ice to my mixing glass and then just give it a stir. About um, 15 to 30 seconds. Drain that into my chilled rocks glass. Add some ice to my chilled rocks glass. Garnish that with a nice big twist of lemon. That is the purple Negroni. So next up is a drink called Coco's With Me. So what you're gonna need it's a Plymouth Slow Gin, a simple syrup infused with rosemary, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and fennel bitters. First thing we're gonna do, take five to seven blueberries and just go ahead and throw those into our shaker tin and then give it a muddle. Once that's all muddled, we can start adding our alcohol. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pour a full two ounce lick of Plymouth Slow Gin. And then just gonna pour three quarters of an ounce of our rosemary infused simple syrup. And match that with three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do three full dashes of fennel bitters. I'm gonna fill my shaker tin full of ice. And give it a good shake. Now this is gonna be fine strained into our chilled coupe glass. I'm already loving this color. So this drink calls for a flamed piece of rosemary. So we're just gonna take our torch, and give it a Give it a little scorch. Try not to burn it too much, just enough to get a tiny bit of a smoky flavor. Just gonna go ahead and slap that right on the top of the drink. And that is the drink that we call Coco's With Me. Next up is a drink called the Afro Love. All right, so what you're gonna need, vodka, Swedish punch, we're using Kronen, which is like a Scandinavian fruity liqueur, fresh squeezed lime juice and agave syrup, a fresh apple, and thyme. First thing we're gonna do, just go ahead and throw 
a whole slice of apple into my shaker tin. A little sprig of thyme and throw it right in and give it a muddle. So once I've uh, released all the juices of the apple, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a full two ounces of vodka. Three quarters of an ounce of Cronin Swedish Punch. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And then finally just a half ounce of agave syrup. Fill my shaker tin with ice. Once you've given it a good shake, you can go ahead and just fine strain that into a chilled coupe glass. So we are gonna garnish that with a slice of green apple and then just a couple dashes of uh, ground turmeric right on top there. And that is the drink that we call the Afro Love. So next up is a drink called Heyman's Tea. It's a shaken drink, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start out with a full two ounces of Old Tom Gin infused with Earl Grey Tea. And we're using Heyman's Old Tom Gin. And then three quarters of an ounce of Saint Germain or some sort of elderflower liqueur matched with three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then finally, a half ounce of honey syrup. That's a shake and drink, so we're gonna go ahead and just give that a shake. Give that a shake. Fine strain that into our chilled coupe glass. And we're gonna serve that garnishless. So that is the Heyman's tea. All right, so we're gonna finish off with a drink called the New York Sazerac, which is an obvious twist on a regular Sazerac. The main difference being it's a cognac and whiskey blend. Now it's a stirred drink, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start out with my mixing glass. All right, here's what you're gonna need. Cognac, rye whiskey, simple syrup, Peychaud's bitters. The first thing I'm gonna do Go ahead and start out with 1.75 ounces of cognac. Today I'm using Pierre Fernand. And then we're also just gonna go ahead and pour 1.5 ounces of rye whiskey. All right. We are using Sazerac rye. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a half ounce of simple sugar. And then three to five dashes of Peychaud's bitters. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a stir, about 15 to 30 seconds. Strain that into our chilled rock glass. Fill the glass with ice. Now this recipe calls for a flamed lemon peel. So I'm just going to go ahead and light a match. Careful not to burn yourself. I want those flamed oils to go right on the drink. That is the New York Sazerac.